Wonderful Weeaboo. And I'm Afro Man. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I just realized I have my skirt back on. Yes. I'm not going to sacrifice myself, like, uh, because I want to look at my ass. Okay, so... Where was I? I don't know what you can actually just do it and then get your, all your health back in one go. Yeah, but... Yeah. But that's just me, though. Okay, so... It's, it's a very aesthetic thing for me. Like, just, like, have have some... Like, have the ass out there. Because the thing is, originally, wearing that actually is not... It's not... Combat is not good for combat because well, I can get combo <clears> things. <throat> they get a combat set. Like, like you, like it sounds like the argument, like for like female, all female superheroes to wear uh, leotards. Well, yeah, because just because having loose clothing can get you killed. Yeah, they can combo things. It can also wearing a cape too it will get you killed too. No capes. Like, just like Incredibles, Incredibles was a sound argument. Like all these superheroes died because their cape got caught. Oh, can you turn it down? Oh, you have the remote. Oh, there's a remote. We're in the future. The desert heat is going to make resupply efforts difficult, QB. Please make sure you're ready before you go. Okay. So, um. Oh, so like in the the one ending where like uh, you die from eating fish. Mm-hmm. It sort of reminds me of that movie AI. Like the, where the where the where the robot character tries to eat spinach and has to go back, it has to go to the repair shop to get the spinach out. Yeah, that was that was weird to me. That was really weird because he he didn't die. He just was like his face was melting. I'm like, how does that even work? I really remember. I, I the only thing is, I only things I remember were uh, like from like from the movie was Gigolo Joe. Gigolo Joe. He, he's the the guy played by Jude Law. <laughs> oh, that's his name, G- Gigolo Joe. That's yeah. so weird. That's a weird, weird, it's a weird movie in general. Like, and that's because like like how like. Uh, because he's like he like uh, for some reason like that character stuck with me more than the the main character, which was the kid. Yeah, it was, it was a kid. It's really just, it's a it's a uh, artificial intelligence that's really just <coughs> programmed to be a kid, but it could actually be almost anything it wanted to be at that point. Because like once that kid like it like is the only character we have like in the story. Yeah. Like the movie stops for me. Like, cause like, because I ha- because we have nothing to work off of. Yes. And that and like once Gigolo Joe like um, is captured from the sc- and he's off the screen forever, like that movie just sort of just like dies for me. It feels like that movie should have ended a long time ago. But once you hear like the actual like reasoning behind it, it makes sense. You are not in the right spot. But this is nice though. Yeah, it looks it looks really good. It's just like you're not <laughs> in the right spot. You're okay. actually I think you can go this way, but I think you can. <laughs> Yeah, this first this first set you can actually go into some of these buildings. Like it makes it like because like there's openings it makes you think that you can go through them. Nope. Because they have the program that actually like physics for the buildings and they're like, nah, let's not do that. Physics are hard. Like right now, like I'm trying to figure out, like I'm, like one thing about making thumbnails, it's always hard to figure out, like um, what to like what to capture for the game, mm-hmm. especially if it's a game you barely know anything about because like you do, you don't want to be spoiled. Yeah. So like I, I'm I'm trying to make something simple as possible. Yeah, I mean that's where it'd be fun. But I like these little robots. Oh, he's gonna attack me. Yeah, he's hostile. If they run up, if I, my whole like thing is like if they run up on you, then they're evil, or in, then they're they're hostile uh, uh, robots. But if they're just kind of just doing their own thing, not worrying about you, they're okay. Oh yeah, there's. 
Yeah, he's bad. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yep. It's your counterattack. It sort of feels like the Fist of the North Star Apocalypse. Like with the like with the like uh like off kilter buildings and the grass. Yeah. But again, I understand that like you're only um like it feels like a way like a more put together Fist of the North Star world. Like like that er like everybody's uh, got their shit get shit together. <laughs> Yeah, <coughs> for me, I, I don't know that much. I don't know that much about this North Star, so I can't put the two connections in there. For me, it just it feels like this game put different worlds together into one one decent sized map, and you can see you can see like you can see when it actually when they're changing and where they're and where they're connected at. But that, that's very later on in the game, though. Yeah. The of humanity has a message for all of our brave androids fighting on the surface. Currently, our struggle against the machine-like forces is at a stalemate. This battle has raged for far too long. I am sure all of you find the effort grueling. But now is not the time to give up. Now, more than ever, we must forge on. Remember that several hundred thousand humans on the moon want nothing more than to return to Earth. Glory to mankind. Glory to mankind. These broadcasts are always so stiff. Report. Mail notification received from access point. That wasn't an enemy, was it? It was attacking. Let's see. No, it was not an enemy. He just killed something in the hood. Oh. <coughs> yeah, mistakes were made. Was like, Again, if anything comes towards you, they are enemies. It, it just looked like a like a Goomba that's on top of another Goomba. Yep. Save impossible. Hey, our leader told me all about you. Name's Jackass. Nice to meet you. I hear you're planning to take out all the machines in the desert. Guess that means we need to get that entrance open. Looks like it. So, um, Jack Ass, was it? Uh, what are you doing all the way out here? Hmm? Oh, that? Well... Wouldn't want to have anyone getting tangled up in that, now would we? Don't go trying to be a hero, all right? <coughs> I like to give a special, like, uh, award for, like, making, like, that type of conversation interesting. Yeah. Like, by making the camera change. Oh, yeah. Like, it's, like, uh, Dark Souls has a hard problem with, like, static characters, and, like, and how that near solved that fucking problem was fucking, oh, they're attacking me. How near solved the problem was just doing that type of shit. Yeah. yeah. If, if Dark Souls actually put a little more effort into their actual, like, thing, they could actually, like, make decent, more decent games. Or, yeah. yeah. Just in the lore, they could actually, like, you know, make the game, make the aesthetic, make <coughs> uh, the movement, like, ten times better. But that that's how people like it, so that's you know, they're not going to change it for anybody. I think the one thing that, like, uh, is a little weird is the transparent uh, blocks that are supposed to make it 16 by 9. Yeah. See, I don't, and the thing is, even even to this day, I don't know why they do that shit. 
Because 69 by 9 is supposed to be like... Uh, the thing is, it's transparent. <coughs> I, can, I can understand like making it like that, but it's yeah, transparent. Yeah, sure is slippery. So you're just, you can still see through it, but I'm like, why did you put that in the first place? <coughs> We've got enemies approaching. And I was like, nah, we just want to do it. I'm like, okay, cool. Okay. Cool. Uh, you know that, like, that trope of like when a character goes to a desert, they have that... Like cloak made of rags and all that shit. Yes. That cover their whole body, and then when they once they reveal who they are, like you can see, like once they like, yeah, the, those type cool type of rags. Yeah. Couldn't tell you why though. Like those are that's like the coolest shit ever. Like you put your character in that, and they'll be instantly cooler. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Fucking Kinshiro, like when he first appears after getting uh, like wrecked like by fucking Shin like <coughs> in the movie that's what he wears when he like uh, when he's like being hit that by that building yeah mm. so this is a pipeline yes so is this like an oil refinery this was an oil refinery these pipes connect to nothing Yep. So for sand, like that one, the, oh, they can mine for sand. I don't like sand. It's coarse. It gets everywhere. Wow, you're so original. Yeah, I know. Oh, Give me a Pulitzer, god damn it. No. <laughs> Do you think they even understand the concept of being scared? Was it, what, what the fuck was that? There's your finisher. Oh, level six. Cause I saw like a, a uh, I, was, I, I took the chance to to do that. Yeah. Cause you, cause that uh, it gives you an uh, eye frame, so you don't. If you're like almost dead, you can use that to at least give you give yourself a little bit more, uh, a little bit more seconds to live. <laughs> 